I am very concerned about those who create money in our society and how we hold them accountable. For those who counterfeit, if we can find them, most often they go to jail for a long time. But to those who create money in sophisticated ways through our financial system and then do great damage, sometimes they are more difficult to apprehend and prosecute. Today I would like to explore the relationship between the Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, and a firm called BlackRock that went public in 1999 after its founding about a decade earlier. Let me say I'm also concerned that there may be some clever foxes in the uh, hen house over there at the Fed as our nation proceeds to dig out of this housing collapse which still continues in regions like my own and hold those truly responsible accountable. The um, arrangements we have with BlackRock and with other asset management companies are carefully set up to prevent conflicts of interest, to set up firewalls between the portion of the company that's working for us and the portion of the company that's engaging in other market activities. Uh, do you know what other instruments BlackRock and its subsidiaries sold to the federal government over the last 10 years? No, I don't. You do not. Well, I would say that I think it's pretty important for you to know some of that because one of the difficulties with these securities is you can't unwind them. You cut them up in pieces, you sell them off. Um, and given what we know about these pools of toxic assets, I have to say uh, that I ask whether the Fed could actually be in collusion with Mr. Fink in covering up uh, his own potential fraud by giving him the opportunity to shift the portfolios and have access to information that no one on this committee has access to in ways favorable to those clients he served and in ways favorable to that company today. How can we assure ourselves that is not happening? We can provide you with the contracts we have with BlackRock and they involve very careful controls to make sure there's a separation between the parts of the company that are working managing the assets of the Fed according to our uh, instructions and the other parts of the company that are involved in a variety of asset management uh, activities. Well, you know, Mr. Chairman, when you appeared before the Budget Committee, I asked you for those contracts, and uh, I want to thank you because they were finally placed on the website of the Fed. Uh, however, uh, the contracts uh, that were placed there have multiple exhibits missing. For example, the investment guidelines are absent. Um, except for one single statement of policy objective. The fee schedules and the payments uh, are omitted, along with the designated representatives of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, as well as key personnel. Uh, given that you are using taxpayer dollars to pay these contracts, why omit the fee schedule and payment procedures? We have a committee that works through all of these different types of information, some of which is confidential or proprietary, and releases all that it believes is, uh, is appropriate, but I will go back and talk to them and make sure they're looking at all those issues. Yes, well, I'll tell you, you know, the housing crisis is at the heart of this economic crisis. And if we're going to fix what's gone wrong in this society, it seems to me that those who hold extraordinary power to create money, and certainly the New York Federal Reserve has more power in that than any regional reserve bank does, or people who live on the street that I live on where homes are being foreclosed as we sit here. Um, something yep. went seriously wrong, and I hear what you said this morning, but I am deeply concerned that the Fed itself is involved in the manipulation of the markets, of the mortgage markets, particularly the toxic assets that the public of the United States now owns. And I am not convinced what you've said to me about the contracts that the Fed has signed with BlackRock will be properly administered in a way that would be fair and impartial to all holders. Um, yep. And I hope that you can provide information to the record to convince me that my suspicions are unwarranted. Gentlewoman's time has expired. We all have to do our jobs. I would like to insert into the record information and background on the relationship between Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, and BlackRock. 
And Without I would objection, like, so ordered. I thank the chairman, and what I'd like to ask Chairman Bernanke to submit for the record from the Fed, how did Bank of America end up owning 49% of BlackRock? Um, in 2004, the FBI warned the public and the administration mortgage fraud was headed toward an epidemic level in our country. The Fed did nothing. Now the Fed under your watch has hired BlackRock, a firm owned 49 percent by Bank of America, headed by a man who invented the subprime instrument, when at first Boston and then later at BlackRock, uh, who traded billions of dollars of these securities to Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae over the last decade. Uh, I quote a sentence and will place in the record from Bloomberg News. Bank's rocket-like rise when at first Boston was largely a result of his creative work with mortgage-backed securities, slicing and pooling mortgages and selling them as bonds. And he took his concept to Freddie Mac, where he sold the company's board on a billion-dollar package. That was just... Uh, Chairman Bernanke, what material can you provide this committee that will explain how the Fed will avoid conflicts of interest and self-dealing by that firm and its CEO in the execution of contracts you have signed with BlackRock? We'll provide you with the contracts and with a letter explaining how it works. Fraud have characterized the mortgage securitization process. Will you permit the FBI access to the mortgage instruments being managed by BlackRock as the Fed contracts are executed and fulfilled? If there's, a, if there's a reason for the FBI to investigate and the FBI has a right to investigate, we would not stand in the way of an appropriate investigation. Thank you. How many contracts has the Fed signed with BlackRock to handle Freddie Mac paper uh, and Fannie Mae mortgage securities under your purview? And how much will BlackRock be paid for those services? We've hired four asset managers to manage our mortgage-backed securities portfolio. BlackRock is one of them. I don't know how much, I don't know how much we're paying them. And one email expressed concern that an SEC employee, quote, knows something is up. The Wall Street Journal reported that you and Mr. Paulson attended two weekly meetings of the Financial Stability Oversight Board and, and refused or, or declined to uh, disclose the seriousness of the problems that uh, were being faced by the Bank of America and Merrill Lynch at that time. What, uh, what would you say to the majority of this Congress who has now co-sponsored, uh, who have now co-sponsored the bill to require audits of the Federal Reserve. If the GAO is auditing not only the operational aspects of our programs and the details of the programs, but is making judgments about our policy decisions, that would effectively be a takeover of monetary policy by the Congress, a, re a repudiation of the independence of the Federal Reserve, which would be highly destructive to the stability of the financial system, the dollar, and uh, our national economic situation. As you probably know, Neil Kashkari has appeared before this committee multiple times, and in our questioning of him, the one thing we found is he didn't know at that time how much he had paid for things, he didn't know what they were worth, he didn't know how they valued them, but he was going to get back to us and never did. I understand he's left the government. But um, you've been fairly politicalized. Your uh, treasury is directly political. You have quasi-political entities that you're working with, now uh, in, directly in TARP, and TARF uh, and all the different uh, programs. We have equity stake in companies. Uh, how do you get yourself untwined from this so you're not uh, totally politicalized? We're going to fix what's gone wrong in this society. It seems to me that those who hold extraordinary power to create money, and certainly the New York Federal Reserve has more power in that than any regional reserve bank does, or people who live on the street that I live on where homes are being foreclosed as we sit here. Um, something yep. went seriously wrong, and I hear what you said this morning, but I am deeply concerned that the Fed itself is involved in the manipulation of the markets, of the mortgage markets, particularly the toxic assets that the public of the United States now owns. And I am not convinced what you've said to me about the contracts that the Fed has signed with BlackRock will be properly administered in a way that would be fair and impartial to all holders. Um, yep. And I hope that you can provide information to the record to convince me that my suspicions are unwarranted. Gentlemen's time has expired.